My name is Neil Malik. I'm from Knack Training, and today's everyday office video is about Microsoft Visio's custom themes. So right now in Visio, I have open an org chart, but it could be any type of diagram that's out there. The basic concept here is that a theme lives in the design tab. You can see here there are different themes and a little drop down menu. And these would apply to all the shapes that are in your diagram. Whether this is an org chart or a timeline or a seating chart, by using this drop down menu and selecting a different theme, you immediately change the color scheme, you immediately change the drop shadows, you immediately change all the aesthetic qualities of whatever that diagram is. And then further over here on the right under variance, you can see here that you can choose a specific color scheme to be used with that. You see that you can use a specific set of effects, meaning how those shapes end up being processed in terms of the color, the gradients, etc. And then at this point, here's where Microsoft Visio really lets us down when we're comparing it to all the other Office products. In every other Office product at this moment right here, when we've chosen a starting point with our theme, we chose a color scheme and effects and all that other stuff, we should be able to save this theme and move forward and use it on future diagrams. We should be able to use it on other org charts. We should be able to use it on timelines, etc. But unfortunately, when I go to the themes drop down menu, you'll notice there is no option at the bottom of this menu for saving that theme. So as far as Visio is concerned, if you create a custom theme, meaning you go to the drop down menu on variants here, you go to colors, maybe even create a brand new theme color down here at the bottom and you decide, OK, well, accent two shouldn't be this green color. It should be orange, right? And accent three should be a darker shade of blue. And when you click OK, that's, of course, applied to this diagram, but we have no way of saving it for future diagrams. So to create a custom theme in Visio 2016, you literally have to save this file as a template so that it can be your starting point in all future diagrams. So what I would do is I'd take this org chart as it stands. I take a second, go to file, save as, you know, maybe save it to my desktop or to OneDrive, wherever you want to put it, call this org chart. And then I'd go in, select everything on the page. The keyboard shortcut there is control A to select everything on the page and delete it. But the important thing here is I have an org chart with the color scheme I want. So I have to now go to file, save as, save it again, maybe to the desktop, maybe to OneDrive, maybe to SharePoint, whatever the case may be, you need to go to the save as type drop down menu and save this as a Visio template so that you can use that same color scheme every time. So I'll call this org chart template, hit save. And now when I close this out and I go look at my desktop, I see there's my org chart and there's my org chart template. I double click on the org chart template and it creates for me a new Visio diagram. You can see up here at the top, it just says drawing one. It's not editing the existing template. It's using that template as a starting point so that in the future you can continue to use that same theme. Notice all these colors down here. These are the custom colors I built. And so it's immediately available for use. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is unfortunately the only way you get a custom theme to be saved in Visio 2016. Good luck.